Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and welcome back to another race in the Verizon IndyCar series here on iRacing. Today, it is the first ever race held on iRacing in the Verizon IndyCar series on a street circuit. And if you are, well, if you follow the Verizon IndyCar series, you will know where we are. This is the Detroit Belle Isle street circuit. And it is also the first street circuit uh, to be scanned and imported onto the iRacing service. It is definitely one of the hardest street circuits. I mean, pretty much all street circuits are quite difficult. And today we are in top split out of two splits. We've just finished qualifying where I've managed to put the IR18 on the third place position for the race. Now, I am quite a ways off the top two, but I do believe if we can just drive smart and drive, sm uh, drive safe, we'll be able to hold on to this podium now. 18 cars in total, so it's a relatively small grid compared to, real well, five cars off what they have in real life. And I must admit, the IR18 around here is basically impossible to drive. It is so difficult. I mean, it's such a hard, difficult, uh, uh, such a hard car to drive in the first place. I mean, on most tracks, you pretty much have to wait until you're dead straight to open the throttle, you know, to maximum. Here, you're just constantly just waiting and waiting and waiting to clear the bumps and have the the wheel straight as possible to be able to, you know, go to max throttle. It's just so bumpy around here, and we've got that max downforce set up on the car. It's not. Um, it's not perfect. I mean, it's hard to really get a an idea as to what the car's going to handle like on the long run. Uh, we aren't that far off in qualifying, but I'm going to drive pretty sort of steady here on the first sort of 10 laps just to get a, a feel for the temperature, a feel for the track. I haven't been able to do as much practice today as what I would have liked. It is sort of... Uh, one in the morning for me right now here in the UK, so staying up late for this one But hopefully if we can just get through the start of the race not make too many mistakes and Be there towards the end, but yeah, no if we can just if a finish well finishing this race would be a feat in its own right, so Yeah, it's definitely gonna be a tough one Alrighty Goal is to finish 40 laps is the distance Come on, Joseph, just finish the race. It's a quick start here, don't get much time to form up. Get ready, going green. The pace car is in. Catch the 15 car. Green, green, green. Let the pace car by. He had the position when the yellow flag came out. I know the two guys in front of me are a lot quicker than I am, so I think if I can just hold third for a while, should be okay.
I just realised I totally forgot to map my push to pass button. I've been driving the LMP1 car all of last week and I've completely forgot to, to set the button. So I am racing this whole race without push to pass. What an idiot. I have no push to pass. Fuck! Thank you. Car on your left. Still there. Clear. That car's a lap down. Left side. Still there. Hold your line. Clear. Eighteen, I just passed like two us. Why the hell are you still on the track? You're this bad or this slow? I just don't know. Thank you. Thank you. You're back in third. Keep hustling.
left side. Clear. You're thinking, Andrew. Car stopped ahead. Car on your left. Keep to the right. Clear on the left. Car on your left. Clear on the left. Car right. Ah, fucking car Clear on so the right. Fucking loose.
right side. Clear on the right. Fuck. Just tapped the wall there. I heard the damage, but I don't know how bad it is. I think I got a little bit of end plate damage, I'm just feeling a little bit more understeer than what I just was. That was weird. Backing third, keep hustling. You got about five laps of fuel. I wish I had pushed a pass.
20 more laps. Okay, you're in second. Alright, well that was a shit in lap, so we're going to lose time here, so currently sitting second, it would seem that the guy that was in second has crashed out, but all in all, not too bad. So if I hadn't cocked that up, we probably would have been in front of him, which sucks. Oh well. One lap newer tyres, I suppose. Side. Still there, hold your line. Still there. Clear. <laughs> what a move. The lead is pitting now. Alright, how the hell we didn't crash? I must have to thank him for that one. He could have quite easily offensed me. You're back in second. I reckon he may have hit the wall. Seems to be a lot slower now that we've had this pit stop. He must definitely have hit the ball, either that or we just have on better tyres or better on new tyres, I don't know.
wing changes made it monumentally better though I must admit. No! No, I'm over. Fuck's sake. Alright guys, well, there we have it. A DNF. I can't believe I just did that, to be honest. It was a such a good race up until that point. I just am so disappointed. Now, unfortunately, um, I, ha I did have to stop the recording there. I don't know what the hell is going on with my microphone, but it keeps spiking or something. I need to check it out or open it up, see what's going on with my mic. But yeah, very sorry for those stupid sort of microphone spikes throughout the race and uh, I apologize to your ears, but yeah, no, so pretty much just got a little bit too throttle happy in between one and two. It's weird because I haven't done that all weekend. Like it didn't step out there all weekend. Uh, I am running a pretty sort of high downforce setup, uh, but I took a lot of sort of front wing out of it so that that wouldn't happen in the high speed corners. Uh, yeah, usually it understeers quite a lot through there, which is why I sort of stabbed the throttle between 1 and 2 to try and get it to rotate. And unfortunately, uh, with the rubber down track being hot, I just stabbed the throttle a little bit too much and it kicked the rear out. And uh, in the IR18, as soon as you kick the rear out, it's virtually impossible to catch. But yeah, it's a shame. We had such a good race between the four car. Big thanks to him for giving me the room and, and racing me well. I know I was a bit rude in the beginning with some of my blocking, but I was just so angry with the, how loose the car was. Uh and and how I'd been caught out by the conditions on the long run but all in all it was a fun race up until well up until the point where we uh bend it but yeah no that was a that was a disappointing end to a really good race anyway guys thanks for tuning in I hope you enjoyed it stay tuned for some more action later in the week as we head to Chicago land in the NASCAR iRacing series and then also in the stuff other well stuff away from the sim racing we got the world cup uh, career mode or tournament mode I should call it on FIFA 18 and then also on MLB the show 18 with the Mets as well so definitely stay tuned for some more of that content and until next time I'll catch you later